So I'm up at um, Burrow Pine Mountain. I've been visiting my friend Joanne in Coryong. I thought I'd do this uh, Bluff Falls walk on the way home. So this, this place got decimated with fires a few years ago. So I'm interested to see what it looks like, how it's coming back. The bush is pretty scrappy here, but the one good thing about the fires is it's um it's opened up a lot of the vistas, so you can see a lot of the, the huge rocky peaks all around me. So yeah, it's a pretty short walk, mind you, it's pretty warm. Um, but yeah, only probably four k's. We'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting a a shitload of water coming down the waterfall, but there'll be something. I can hear some water running already. I'll see how it goes. The plan is to visit the waterfall and then climb up to a lookout. I'm guessing the lookout may be up on that rocky bluff there. But um, that's a total feral fact. Who knows? Let's see how we go. So, this is Bluff Falls. There's a um, there's a lookout platform down there, but it's been closed. So, because of the fires and it's burnt out, so I probably won't go down to that. I should be happy with the falls from here. Actually, quite a good fall, quite a good um, load, you know. Looks like there's a decent fun pool at the bottom, too. I mean, looks like people have been scrambling down here through the trees. But being a responsible citizen, I suppose I won't. So instead of scrambling down to the waterfall, I'm going up. I've got a feeling this is going to be a solid little climb actually. We shall see. I felt like a hundred switchbacks, which is probably about ten. I'm above the falls now, and I'm going up through. It looks like I'm going to climb up this little gorge here. So the track's um, more of a bushwalking track than a walking track. It's a little bit rough, so nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a nice little punch pool. The sun's on that on the way home. I could be tempted on the way back down. Here's the bushes there. Uh, you can see the fire damage plainly evident in the trees. It's starting to come back, but it's going to take a while. Climbing up that gully. I'm going up this one.
So this is um, Campbell's Lookout. So there is another bluff that I suspect there's a track to over there. And I'm not going up today. I might save that for another visit. But um, I suspect you can get up to it. I mean, you, I know you could get up to it off track. I suspect there might be a track up to that. Yeah, you can see the car park, but it's a fairly, um, it's only short little walk, but it's a fairly strenuous little walk to get up to here. It's well worth doing. That's uh, Mount Mitamatide over there, and in the valley on the other side of the hills, you might see a few, a few um, houses in the trees. That's Koryong. And in the distance is the main range. Alright, so I'm heading back down now. Like I said, it's a short walk. It's actually a pretty good walk. It'll be a lot nicer once the, the forest comes back a little bit. That's going to take another 10 years or so, I suppose. I'll put away the GoPro to climb down there. This loose rock is um, is a bit um, dodgy. You've got to be a bit careful. Be easy to roll an ankle. There has been dry stone steps put in, but I think the fires have loosened everything up. So even the big ones move sometimes. So I'm back down at Bluff Falls. So that's the creek that I was following up, kind of up the gorge above that. So I'm just walking back to the to the Ute now. There's quite a few people have turned up, so I'm doing the video, doing the sign up a little bit earlier. Um, that's a nice little walk. The bush is struggling after the fires, after the big, I think that was 2018, 2019, not 100% sure. So the bush is still struggling and there's still some stuff closed, lookout platforms, and there's another walk from here down to the day use area that this closed off. Um, but this little walk's nice, the views are good. There's a couple of spots you can get into the creek if you wanted to strip off and have a swim, although there's a few too many people around for me. I'll just show you. I'm just approaching the car park now. I don't know if you can see the cars. When I turned up, I was here on my own. Now there's probably half a dozen, half a dozen cars up there. Anyway. All right, well, I've come, I think it comes out at about two, I think I might have said 2.3 k's. There's a bit of climbing, probably 150 metres climbing, and you will need your hands. There's a ladder, and there's a bit of a rock, a rock face to scramble up. It's all pretty easy, but yeah, you're definitely going to need your hands. I think kids would love this little walk, though. Um, so yeah, oh, and I'm in uh, Burrow Pine Mountain National Park, in case anyone's wondering. You can see someone's got their dog down here, so yeah, fucking awesome. Alright, catch up with you. Catch up with you next time. Take it easy.